Hello, Scott? Yes? Your password is Hummingbird. You're from Lifeline? Mm-hmm. Is everything okay? No, it's not. In 33 days, you're gonna die. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Chlewecki. I am such a klutz. Hey, you gotta be more careful. Are you sure this is safe? Oh, oh yeah, we're fine. Oh, I will die of embarrassment if I lose Todd's ring before we're even married. Is this what you're looking for? Four seven one just went red. Give me Agent Connor hooks. Mm. <sighs> Has to be for you. I jumped last. Yes. Sure. No problem. See you next month. Mm -hmm. 31 year old female, I'm betting an accident of some kind. very clear. Lifeline saved my life. I have to say it's surreal to even say that out loud, because look, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that you could spend money on. There's a lot of things that we all spend money on. I have definitely bought some awesomely unnecessary uh, stuff, but Lifeline is, um, is something you absolutely need. The truth is I like to keep my personal life private, and Lifeline always respects that. It was painless, didn't feel a thing, but I'll share this with you. Every night before I sleep, I think of how close I came to actually dying. Does it really matter how it all works? What matters is this. Something unspeakable was supposed to go down, but Lifeline made sure that it didn't. And you can't put a price on that. Miranda, nice to see you again. I hear you've been having second thoughts. Oh, I can't get a straight answer from your people about how this gizmo works. It's not scary. Our Lifeline device simply scans your vitals and is in constant communication with our surveillance systems. The result is unprecedented personal protection. You can find me that fast wherever I am. It's a lot less complicated than it sounds. Have you ever lost your cell phone? I lost it all the time until my Son put some sort of find your phone app on it. Yes, that's exactly what this is, a find Miranda app. If our GPS computers tell us something's wrong, we respond immediately to fix it. So this thing that you're implanting always knows where I am. I assure you, your information is kept very private. Mm -hmm. I consider myself overprotective 
but I looked away for just one moment. And that's all it took for him to run into the street. A car sped around the corner, didn't even see him. But my baby had one of these. A Lifeline agent swooped in from nowhere and saved his life. It was incredible, Miranda. I can't imagine how I would have lived with myself if he'd... if I hadn't done everything possible to protect him. Okay. You won't feel a thing. Welcome to Lifeline, Miranda. You are now one of the most secure people in the world. Your password is Sparrow. Hopefully you will never need it, but if a Lifeline agent is needed, that is the password they will use to identify themselves. Sparrow. That's right, Miranda. Right this way. Can I have my son back? And next time you use my family to close the sale, I get half the commission. This is Jasmine? Yes, sir, right away. Nervous. Should I be? If you're smart. Then, yes, I'm very nervous. You're very good at what you do, Jasmine and loyal. Thank you, I really like working for this company. I'd like to offer you a promotion, case director. You pick the right woman. It's a position that comes with uh, great rewards and also confidential information. Are you asking if I can keep a secret? I'm not asking. If you take this job, you will keep them, understood? Okay. Great. Let's get you started. Now, the device we install into our clients is not quite what we say it is, but you suspected that, didn't you? Yeah, it is much, much more than that. It's constantly receiving transmissions of your vital signs from itself 33 days in the future. What do you mean, in the future? If the device receives a warning of an upcoming death in the future, we can take action today, in the present. What kind of action? How's it going, Jack? Setting jump coordinates. North, 34, mark 1005894. West, 118, mark 32740093. Jump windows closing fast. No time to waste. I'm aware of the irony. You're sending him in, into the future? The jump box is a one-way ticket 33 days into the future. And that is a fact that will never leave this building. How are we looking, Jay? Everything looks nominal. Locking in jump coordinates. Once an agent arrives in the future, they stay there. Why jump an agent forward to save a client's life? You know they're gonna die in 33 days, so why not just lock that client in a bunker with guards and doctors until their expiration date passes? Yeah, we tried that in the beginning, and we learned the hard way. Look, your fate is certain, okay? It can't be undone. Your every action taken is already part of a predetermined timeline, and that is why I built the jump box. It doesn't just jump an agent forward in time, it jumps them to a brand new timeline where new outcomes are possible. Look, our company is growing quickly. We're getting new clients every day. Now I need someone to manage the jumps, schedule the saves.
Nora. In here, Dad. Dinner's almost ready. How was your day? It's good. Real good. I got something for you. Now, I know it's not a dog, but I saw this little guy and I thought you might like him. Dad, what's going on? No, no, nothing's going on. I promise. I'm clean. I, I'm just happy. I got a job. You did? Mm-hmm. At the parking garage on Harris. I can walk over there, save bus fare. Dad, that's great. <sighs> Bad news is, uh, it's at night. Overnights, five nights a week. You'll be home alone a lot. Stop self-sabotaging. I can deal. You stop watching Dr. Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, come on. Dad, I'm joking. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Hey there, little guy. Bet you don't even remember the trip here, huh? I think you've always been here. Here it is. It's hot, right? <gasps> life, prick. Where are you? Hey. I didn't know you were going to be back so soon. I went in after you. And then we were three days off together. It looks worse than it is. So now I'm going to get these mice. So what happened? Oh, my God. The client's companion was wasted, so I stopped her from getting into the car and then tried to stop him from driving, and he just didn't like it. But I wasn't about to let anyone drive in that condition. Look, I had it under control. Clearly. Why does her life matter and his doesn't? Because she's the client and he is not. And because sticking your nose in the situation almost got it knocked off. I mean, look at you. That's an awful way to think. No, awful would be losing you. And kissing that side of your mouth. I'll get you a plate. Morning. You, uh, new? Uh... Yeah, uh, hi, Jasmine. Been here a month. Connor, uh, what are you doing in our filing system? I'm blowing it up, and I'm starting over. It's not that bad. Agents are assigned at random. Client interviews feel like they've been filed by orangutans. Did you want something? I was trying to save someone's life, but, you know, that probably wait. Oh, yeah, um, 
Connor Hooks. If that's not your client, you know what floor I'm on. Literally. These files are on the floor. I get it. <laughs> Stupid. Fixed position. All set. You're jumping in three, two, one. All right, we got three days to celebrate the 12 days of Christmas, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. Well, then let's get started. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Get you here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. See you in a month. Who's finally home? Detective Grundy. What a surprise. But you just miss Connor. I know, I know, I am. I waited till he left to knock. So, congratulations. I heard you made sergeant. I did. Two years ago. Two years? Wow. Hey, you should really come around more often. I do. You guys are never here. Okay, so we travel a lot. And you didn't just drop by. I want you to come back to the force. Jenkins is retiring next month. I've got approval to hire you without opening it up. Two great promotion. <laughs> Flattered. You were a good cop. You're one of the best I've ever worked with. I loved being a cop, Grundy. I, it's one of the things in my life I'm the most proud of. And I loved working for you. But? I've committed to something different. It, it's something new and, and exciting. And I mean, Connor and I are really happy. Working for an insurance company? Well, it's a little more than that. Enlighten me. There's not a lot about it online. A lot of theories, no real information. The company doesn't seek any attention. But we're helping a lot of people. That's really all I can say about it. Okay. Well, you look good. I mean, without the... I you haven't aged a day. Take care of yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll see myself out. go off. Why do we even bother setting it? Huh? You're always a week before it goes off anyway. Because I don't want to miss one minute of morning <laughs> time with my wife. Booth. Again? Yeah, he's got the highest price premium on the board. Well, whatever he's paying is a bargain in his line of work. You got everything you need for the jump? Yeah. We are locked in. Signal strong. Just get me close.
Excuse me, asshole. Flamingo, asshole. You're welcome. Connor Hooks. Who is this? Do you believe in free will or fate? Neither. I have a task for you. I want you to beat the board. Nobody can beat the board. You really don't believe that, do you? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Haley. If you've done anything to her, I swear to God I will kill you. I want you to prove them all wrong. Prove to them you'll never miss a save no matter what. Haley went red 33 days ago. Another agent was sent and failed. She dies in 20 minutes. And I need you to get to her before they get to you. Where the hell is she? Harris and Wilk. Start doing these exchanges in nicer places. Nice places come with extra eyes. Extra eyes are expensive. Dad? What happened? I cut it on the fishbowl. I, I didn't want you to have to leave work, but it won't stop bleeding. It's, it's okay. We'll fix it. I think there's a first aid kit up in the break room. Where's the merchandise? How long have you been stealing from me? I'm protecting ways you can't imagine. Drop it! Drop it now! Shoot her skinny! Shoots like a cop. I ain't shooting no cop. Put your weapon down! Now! Connor, what are you doing here? Haley, just get out of here. Go, now. I'm not letting this man die! Go! in a gut shot. Connor, I could lose my job. You know a man driven by revenge is a liability? Follow his rules, and there won't be any trouble. It was only five minutes. I ran as fast as I could. Nathan's not gonna know. We're gonna do it off the books, unregistered. 